So Michael, here we are at Thesis 12. A statement you make here absolutely blows me away that uh, we tend to think of aging as a process, as natural, uh, a natural process, just like people think the sun comes up in the morning and circles the earth. In other words, it's an optical illusion, not supported by what's really going on. Could you um, help me understand this and everybody else a lot better, please? Well, one of the interesting things about sunrise and sunset is this optical illusion is generated by something seemingly spectacularly implausible, which is that we're on the surface of a planet which is revolving at great speed. Um, so, like, I'm sitting in a chair in Southern California looking out my window at, at the tree and it's just sitting there and its leaves aren't moving. You know, subjectively you'd think, well, if I am in fact moving at a speed of hundreds of miles an hour right now, shouldn't I subjectively experience that? Well, actually, no, because everything around me is moving at exactly the same speed. So I seem to be stationary subjectively, which then generates the illusion of the sun moving through the sky when relative to my position, the sun is actually moving very little. Um, so uh, similarly, the illusion of an aging process is generated by a very powerful and striking feature of evolution, which is the plummeting and rapidly plummeting forces of natural selection with adult age. Um, so, in a sense, the illusion is generated in the following way. People have the intuitive conception that natural selection gives them a healthy body, and then that's it, that it's sort of done that, and then it goes away. As if we are like, you know, building a car, and then the car breaks down after it's built. But that is actually a cognitive illusion, just like my subjective illusion that I'm not moving very fast. Um, is a subjective illusion. In fact, natural selection is highly age-dependent in its impact, and once a population starts reproducing, it then proceeds to fall off a cliff. And it's that falling off of a cliff, in terms of the force of natural selection, which then generates the scientific illusion, if you will, of an aging process. So, the scientific illusion in this case is generated by a very profound and subtle thing that we don't really notice because it's hidden from us because basically evolution by natural selection is the hidden creator of everything that we have of our health Michael you you use the term forces of natural selection and it's just coming into my consciousness that you're using the word forces very deliberately. Uh, rather, could you could you expand on on the idea of this being like almost like I, I'm getting it as almost like a force of gravity. There's a there's a, actually a force applied ah, to a being. A, am I that's, am I getting it? Well, that's really cool because um, the force of natural selection is very much like. Uh, the force of gravity in that in modern day physics gravity isn't a conventional force gravity is a reflection of the deformation of space and time by mass in the same way uh, the forces of natural selection reflect a deformation in what natural selection can accomplish as a result of uh, the of, of increasing adult age so adult age plays a role in this kind of evolutionary theory that's fully analogous to uh, space-time, where in the space-time deformation that generates gravity is greater and greater with increasing mass in exactly the same way the deformation in evolution by natural selection is caused by greater and greater adult age. 